Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Softball on HCAM. Today, the 11 and 6 Hopkinton Lady Hillers take on 11 and 6 Bellingham Blackhawks. Tom Nappy on the call, Alex Walton on camera for this afternoon's game, and it is by far the hottest game of the season. Temperatures at 85 degrees for today's senior day game for Hopkinton Hillers softball. One senior on the Hillers this season, and Emma Murphy, of course, a key part of this Hillers team. And right now, we will take a look at the Bellingham Blackhawks batting order. Leading things off and batting first is the center fielder, Maddie Man. Excuse me, Maddie Mantagni, the center fielder for Bellingham. Batting second is Casey McGowan, the pitcher. Katie Reed, the shortstop, batting third. Shannon Impalato, the designated player, hitting cleanup. Kaylee McGowan, the right fielder, hitting fifth. Kelly Morrison, the second baseman, hitting sixth. Kelly Corbett, the first baseman, hitting seventh. Kaylee McGregor, the catcher, hitting eighth. Alexis Rodriguez, the left fielder, hitting ninth. And Kayla Martinez is at third base, the odd woman out of the batting order for the Blackhawks as Katie Holly is set to deliver the first pitch. And that one is low to start things off to the lefty. Maddie Manta having some trouble with that name. Maddie Mantagni. That one inside. Let's take a look at the Hillers defense. Katie Holly on the mound. Jill Cedia behind home plate. Bella Ansi over at first base. Emily Whalen, the second baseman. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. And the ground out to first base, one away. Emma Murphy at third base from left to right. Kristen McCluskey, Megan Sullivan, and Jordan Chevery for the 11 and 6 Hopkinton Hillers. A three unassisted ground out to start things off for Manny Addy Mantagni as Casey McGowan makes contact and flies out to center field. Two up, two down, and that'll bring up Katie Reed, the shortstop. Katie Holly set to deliver. Contact is made, slow roller. Emily Whalen picks it up, throw to first, no problem. Four to three for the third out. One, two, three, they go. To the bottom of the first we go. It is scoreless between the Bellingham Blackhawks and the Hopkinton Hillers on H Camp. Set for the bottom of the first inning, let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers batting order. Emily Whalen, the second baseman, will start things off. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, batting second. Katie Holly, the pitcher, batting third, hitting cleanup third baseman, Emma Murphy. Jill Cedia, the catcher, batting fifth. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, hitting sixth. Megan Sullivan is batting seventh and playing center field. Jordan Chevery, the right fielder, hitting eighth. And Kristen McCluskey is in left field, batting ninth for the Hopkinton Hillers. As for the Bellingham Blackhawks, the pitcher is Casey McGowan. It is Kaylee McGregor behind home plate. Kelly Corbett over at first as the lefty Emily Whalen set to step in. Kelly Morrison over at second. The shortstop is Katie Reed as McGowan delivers. And this is hit right up the middle off of McGowan. And Emily Whalen will easily reach. Well, that was a hard hit ball. Tough play for McGowan to make. I'm going to give Emily Whelan a single with that one. And that'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre. Continuing on with the Bellingham defense, Kayla Martinez over at third base. We'll take you through the outfield in just a moment. As Emily Whelan takes off, contact made. And McIntyre flies out to shortstop. One away, one on. From left to right, Alexis Rodriguez, Maddie Mantagani, and Kaylee McGowan for Coach Dennis Baker's Bellingham Blackhawks as the pitcher Katie Holly swings at strike one. Katie Holly, a junior, big part of this Hopkinton Hillers team. 
She'll make contact here. That's driven into right field. Emily Whalen going to go around second as the right fielder. Kaylee McGowan having trouble. Whalen being waved around a home plate, and she will score. And over at third base is Katie Holly. So Emily Whalen comes around. It is a 1 0 Hillers lead. An RBI base hit for Katie Holly, and she advances to third on an error in right field. And that'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman. A pitch down low, 1 0. Lined up and the pitch, upstairs. Emma Murphy, the only senior on this year's roster for the Hopkinton Hillers. She'll make contact here, hit in the air, over to right field, could be trouble, and it's over the reach of the second baseman. Here comes Katie Holly for run number two. A two-nothing Hillers lead, an RBI single for Emma Murphy. And that'll bring up Jill Cedia, the catcher. McGowan set to deal to Cedia. That one is in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Jill Cedia, sophomore, hitting a 333 on the season. She has been tremendous as of late with the bat. Makes contact here up the middle and bobbled by the shortstop. Everybody's going to be safe. Jill Cedia with a hard hit ball up the middle. Tough play for Katie Reed to make. Certainly debatable as if it was an error or a hit, but i got to give that the error. It seemed like a pretty routine play for a shortstop, but she was unable to make it, and that'll bring up Bella Ansi, the first baseman. Well, defensive struggles early on for the Blackhawks. Bella Ansi, a junior hitting a 388. She has certainly improved offensively throughout the season. Last few games, she's been uh, on a tear with the bat as the lefty awaits the pitch. There's a strike, 0 and 1. So it's one out for the Hillers. Two runs in, two on. And that is fouled away. 0 and 2. On first base, it's pinch runner for Jill Cedia, Heather Sivo. Pitch down low. And on second base, it is Emma Murphy. Swinging strike. And that'll do it for Bella Ansi, two away. That'll bring up Megan Sullivan, the center fielder. Good pitch there by Casey McGowan. Get you the numbers for Casey in just a moment as that pitch down low. And the runner going to take off from second head over to third. And the ball was thrown up the line off the runner. And advancing in the meantime was Heather Sivo to second. So a stolen base there for Emma Murphy. And then Heather Sivo takes advantage of the opportunity with the ball going off of Murphy. Of course, no Indian rubber allowed in softball. A pitch up high. Casey McGowan, a 2.80 ERA for Bellingham, throws that one inside. 10 wins, four losses, 17 appearances, 97 and a third pitched. She's given up 102 hits, 58 runs, 39 of which were earned. 40 walks, 62 strikeouts. Pretty good numbers for the sophomore, who is more than likely going to be relied upon to be the pitcher for Bellingham for the next couple of seasons. As she gets a strike in there. The full count pitch. 
Swinging strike, and that will be out number three for the Hillers, but not before they plate two runs. It is 2-0 Hopkinton as we head to the top of the second on HCAM. Top of the second inning, 4-5 and 6 due up for Bellingham. Shannon Imparto, the designated player. Kaylee McGowan, the right fielder, and Kelly Morrison, the second baseman. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers as they play two in the bottom of the first. As Shannon Imperato steps in. Line up and the pitch. He gets a piece of this up the right side and through into right field it goes. A leadoff single for Imperato. I'll bring up Kaylee McGowan, the right fielder. Shannon Imperato was hitting a 256 coming into this game. Kaylee McGowan hitting a 375 in her sophomore season. Katie Hawley set to deal. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs, one and one. Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air, foul out of the reach of Emma Murphy. One and two. Set to deliver. I went upstairs. Two and two on Kaylee McGowan. Fifteen runs scored for McGowan, and she drives one in the left field here. That'll get down, and it is going to be two on, no outs for Bellingham. That'll bring up Kelly Morrison, the second baseman. Kelly Morrison, a junior, a 3.58 batting average, has played in all 17 games. Nine runs scored, 14 driven in, a double and triple to her credit. Katie Hawley set to deliver. She gets a piece of this one, and it's over the reach of Emily Whalen. Lead runner Imperato stopped at third. It's bases loaded, no outs for Bellingham. That'll bring up Kelly Corbett, the first baseman. Kelly Corbett, a senior. And she is hitting a 341 on the season, has played in all 17 games. Scored six, driven in 13, and a pair of doubles. There's a strike. Hillers lost a road game over the weekend, a very close road game to Central Catholic, eight to seven. There's a strike from Holly. For that. They defeated Ashland, game which we had for you right here on HCAM. That one outside, the throw down, nearly got the runner. Good throw down the line by Cedia. One and two. The one two pitch. Swinging strike, out number one. That'll bring up Kaylee McGregor, the catcher. Kaylee McGregor, 286 on the season for the senior. Line up and the pitch, swinging strike there. Bases loaded for Bellingham, one out. 10 runs scored for McGregor, seven driven in. Gets a piece of this up the middle, slow roller, throw home for one, and that'll be all they get, but they do prevent the run from scoring. Good heads up play from Katie Holly. Haley McGregor reaches on the one to two force out. Two away. Alexis Rodriguez, the left fielder, stepping in. The sophomore is hitting a 368. She's played in all 17 games for Bellingham. Bellingham, a very young team, just like the Hillers, as that one's going to get by Cedia. 
And over at third, Kaylee McGowan not even going to try to come home on that one. This took a big bounce back towards Cedia. Line up and the pitch upstairs. One and one on Alexis Rodriguez. She has scored eight runs, driven in eight. Up the left side, glove at short. And the run over to third from Alyssa McIntyre for the third out of the inning. And despite having the bases loaded with no outs, Bellingham will come up with no runs after a good defensive stand by the Hillers. It is a 2-0 Hopkinton lead as we head to the bottom of the second on H camp. Bottom of the second inning, the Hillers coming back up to the plate with a 2-0 lead. 8-9-1 due up, Jordan Chevery, Kristen McCluskey, and Emily Whalen. To face Casey McGowan out there for her second inning of work. Line up and the pitch. Up the left side, gloved at short, throw to first, and that is going to be just in the reach of Kelly Corbett. She had to come up a little bit for that one, but able to pull it down, one away. I'll bring up Kristen McCluskey. Takes a ball, 1-0 on the freshman. She's having a terrific season at the plate. Getting a 371 overall. Five runs scored. She takes one outside there. Six driven in. There's a strike. That one outside. Three and one. Gets a piece of this one. Slow roller up the left side. Gloved by the third baseman. Throw to first in time. Two away. Close call there. Klusky almost had it beat out. That'll bring up Emily Whalen, the second baseman. Emily Whalen singled and scored a run last inning. That one down low, 1-0. Oh. That one just outside, 2 and oh. Larry Sacklad over at the Hillers baseball game today against Bellingham. We'll have that airing on HCAM as well as this softball game. A 1-0 lead for Bellingham in the first as Emily Whalen hits a rocket, but a great catch by Katie Reed who jumps up and pulls it down. And that will wrap up the second inning. To the top of the third we go. The Hillers leading Bellingham 2-0 on HCAM. Top of the third inning, top of the order for the Blackhawks. Maddie Bantagani, the center fielder, stepping in. She grounded out her last time up. And gets a piece of this one over to Whalen, who it goes in and out of her glove. Throw to first, and not in time. Antigone beats it out. A rare blunder there by Emily Whalen. And that'll bring up Casey McGowan, the pitcher. Fouls that away, 0-1. Oh Casey McGowan, a sophomore. Gets a piece of this one over to left field and it's caught. Kristen McCluskey gets under it, one away. That'll bring up Katie Reed, the shortstop. Katie Reed, a junior, hitting a 355 coming into this game. One on, one out. 
upstairs. high two oh pitch hits this one high in the air over to left field ranging way over to her right is McCluskey to make a great catch two away and that'll bring up Shannon Imperato the designated player Husky staying busy over in left field. She gets a piece of this, a great snatch by Katie Holly, and the underhand to first, no problem. Three away, that'll end the top of the third to the bottom of the inning we go. It's 2-0 Hillers on HCAM. Bottom of the third inning, 2-3 and 4 due up for the Hillers. Alyssa McIntyre, Katie Holly, and Emma Murphy. Hopkinton leading Bellingham two to nothing. Trying to add on here, some great defensive work. The last couple of innings for the Hillers. In the top of the second, Bellingham loaded up the bases with no outs and the Hillers were able to get out of it with no harm done as that one's followed up the left side, 0-1. Tom Nappy on the call for Today's Hiller softball game, Alex Walton on camera. Beautiful day for some high school softball action. Certainly the hottest game of the year as it's a one and one count on Alyssa McIntyre. Alyssa McIntyre, a sophomore, having a terrific season with the bat, 389 heading into this game as this is hit in the air, right side and out of the reach of anybody. Alyssa McIntyre has scored 17 runs, driven in nine, also has a pair of doubles to her credit. McGowan set to deal, outside. Two one pitch, swinging strike, and she's gonna try to Beat this one out and will. So she will be safe at first. Ball got away from Kaylee McGregor and Alyssa McIntyre took advantage of it on the strikeout. I'll bring up Katie Holly. Gowan set to deal, upstairs. Swinging strike. Katie Holly singled in the first inning, drove in a run and scored a run. Hitting a 472 coming into this game. Nice job by McGregor behind the plate, sealing that one up. 23 runs scored for Holly, 15 driven in. Swinging strike, big swing there, and taking off from first is McIntyre, an easy steal to second. It is a two and two count on Katie Holly. Well, he also has four doubles, two triples, and two homers to her credit. Whole lot of power. She fouls that one away. And that one's gonna get away from McGregor, allowing Alyssa McIntyre to advance to third. A wild pitch. Full count. Fouled away. The battle continues on. Oh, 
And that is outside. Katie Holly draws the walk. I'll bring up Emma Murphy. And we'll have a infield conference in the pitcher's circle. Emma Murphy, the only senior member of the Hillers team this year. She's had a great year. 441 batting average coming into this game. 19 runs scored. 24 driven in, seven doubles, two triples. Just terrific numbers. Dangerous situation for Bellingham. Runners on the corners, no outs. Emma Murphy in the batter's box. Now one down low, runner from first taking off. Easy steal for Katie Holly. That steal was certainly just trying to bait the catcher to throw to try to score that run from third. Briefly got away from McGregor, but quick to cover home plate is McGowan. Gets a piece of this one, tattoos it. A left field over the reach of Alexis Rodriguez. One in to score. Here comes another. It's a 4 0 lead for the Hillers. A two RBI double for Emma Murphy. Great piece of hitting there for the senior on senior day. Three RBIs already in this game for Emma Murphy as Jill Cedia steps in. Gets a piece of this. It is in foul territory and out of the reach of anybody. Set to deliver to Cedia. Up the middle, and that'll get through into center field. Here comes Emma Murphy to try to score the throw home. It's not in time. It's 5 0 Hillers, and now Cedia advancing to second. An RBI single for Jill Cedia. She advances on the throw home. Another great piece of hitting there by the terrific Hillers catcher. Heather Siebel will come back into the game for pinch running duties. Bella Ansi will step to the plate. Wind up in the pitch, outside. Set to deliver. Bella Ansi gets a piece of this, and that will be caught in left field by Alexis Rodriguez. I'll bring up Megan Sullivan, the center fielder. Line up and the pitch inside. One out in the inning for the Hillers. There's a strike to Sullivan. Melissa McIntyre started off this inning reaching after the ball was dropped by McGregor on the strikeout. Piece of this in the left field it goes from Megan Sullivan and everybody's gonna be safe. Heather Sivo, the pinch runner for Jill Cedia up to third. Sullivan aboard with the one-out single. Runners on the corners. Jordan Chevery, the right fielder, will step in. Miller is making some noise in this bottom of the third.
There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. Set to deliver. Inside. One and one count on Jordan Chevery. Sophomore hitting a 207 coming into this game. Fouls that one away. One and two. Six runs, or excuse me, three runs scored and seven driven in from Jordan Chevery. She would like to keep this rally going right here. I'll pitch up high. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch from McGowan. Gets a piece of this, up the middle it goes, into center field, here comes another Hiller's run. It's a six nothing game. An RBI single for Jordan Chevery. Megan Sullivan up to second. Heather Sivo, the pinch runner for Jill Cedia comes around to score. A four run bottom of the third so far for the Hillers. As Kristen McCluskey steps in. Outside, 1-0. and oh. Kristen McCluskey, a standout freshman for the Hillers. 371 coming into this game. Six driven in, five scored. Upstairs it goes. Two and O. Oh. Kristen McCluskey should be a big part of this Hillers roster for a long time to come. Three and O. Oh. Casey McGowan having some trouble now in the pitcher's circle. There's a strike. Emily Whalen due up next. Inside and that'll get away from McGregor. Both runners on base will advance, but it doesn't matter, it is a walk. So it's bases loaded for the Hillers. And now we'll get a timeout from Bellingham and a infield conference on how to deal with Emily Whalen. Of course, she is always a threat to bunt. The Hillers have batted around in this bottom of the third. And it continues on with only one out in the books. A 6 nothing lead for Hopkinton. They played it two runs in the bottom of the first. It was a 1-2-3 bottom of the second, but now the Hillers once again on a tear. And this lineup, once it gets going, very dangerous. Hillers hitting a 349 as a team. That pitch outside, 1-0. Now you got a dangerous part of the lineup coming up as well. Side, 2-0. Bellingham has pretty good numbers as well. They're hitting a 345 as a team. Hillers have had more success in the pitching department. That one is upstairs, 3-0 to Emily Whalen. Now with the bases loaded and one out, I think you just take a few pitches here. There's a strike. Here she is more than likely going to swing if it's anywhere close and she'll hold up as that one way inside. And a run will walk in, 7 nothing Hillers. As Emily Whalen drawing the five pitch walk. Megan Sullivan comes around to score. Jordan Chevery up to third. Kristen McCluskey up to second. And that's going to bring up Alyssa McIntyre, but not before Coach Baker is going to have a chat with his pitcher. He's going to talk to the umpire. We might see some changes here. We'll keep things right here to see if uh, we will have any changes. She might have an injury as well for the pitcher. 
Right now, Coach Baker uh, talking with the umpire, and it looks like we will indeed have a change in the pitcher's circle. So Casey McGowan will come out of the game. And it looks like coming in from left field to pitch is Alexis Rodriguez. So with the pitching change, we'll take a timeout. The Hillers leading Bellingham 7 to nothing on HCAM. Continuing on in the bottom of the third. So far, five runs have crossed this inning for the Hillers, who have a 7-0 lead. As Alyssa McIntyre set to step in. She lined out and reached on the catcher's error after a strikeout. That pitch down low. Gets a piece of this one over to left field, and that is going to drop in, and a run will cross. A good piece of hitting there by Alyssa McIntyre, an 8 nothing lead for the Hillers. Jordan Chevery comes around. That dropped just in front of the left fielder for Bellingham. And now stepping in is Katie Holly, who fouls that one away. Kristen McCluskey up to third, Emily Whalen up to second. Over in left field, it's the starting pitcher, Casey McGowan. So her and Alexis Rodriguez switched places as that one is fouled away. 0 oh 2. Line up and the pitch, down low. Alexis Rodriguez, a sophomore, now in the pitcher circle for Bellingham. She's pitched eight innings coming into this game. This one is hit high in the air, and it looks like shallow left center, and it's dropped. But the infield fly rule was in effect, so that is two away. And that'll bring up Emma Murphy to the plate. So bases loaded for the Hillers now with two outs. Big opportunity for the senior on senior night as this is hit in the air foul and a good effort by Kelly Corbett but could not get there in time. An eight nothing lead for the Hillers. Six runs have scored in this bottom of the third. That one down low. One and one. Alexis Rodriguez set to deal. Gets a piece of this one, but it's foul off the left side fence. One and two. Starter Casey McGowan went two and a third, giving up seven runs. Five of those were earned. And this is tattooed, but foul up the left side. Emma Murphy trying to push it to her left. She's having a great day at the plate so far. Two for two, three RBIs and a run scored. That pitch up high. Two and two on Murphy. Gets a piece of this one, hit up the left side, and it's past the reach of the left fielder. One run in, a second run. Here comes a third. That'll clear the bases, but actually it looks like they might rule it a ground rule double or foul rather. They're gonna call that one foul. And that was a late foul call if I've ever seen one. Well certainly 
on the border of foul and fair. Just a late call for that one. Here's the 2 2. That one's upstairs. Full count on Emma Murphy. Gets a piece of this one up the left side, through the legs of the third baseman, one in to score. Here comes Emily Whalen. Another two runs cross for the Hillers, and how about that? An eight run bottom of the third, and it's now a 10-0 ball game. A two RBI single for Emma Murphy. Melissa McIntyre up to second. Kristen McCluskey and Emily Whalen around home plate. That'll bring up Jill Cedia. Will the rally continue? Inside. Two on, two outs. Gets a piece of this one and it's foul. Just out of the reach of Kelly Corbett. One and one. Emma Murphy at first, Alyssa McIntyre at second. Jill Cedia at the plate. Up the left side, foul. Cedia is one for two today. She reached on an error in the first inning, singled in the third, drove in a run, and scored a run. Line up in the pitch. Up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, no problem. Five to three for the third out, but not before the Hillers plate. Eight more runs in this bottom of the third. It's a 10-0 Hopkinton lead as we head to the top of the fourth on HCAM. Top of the fourth inning for the Bellingham Blackhawks. A 10-0 lead for the Hillers. Eight runs score in the bottom of the third. Katie Holly, who has had a long rest from the pitcher circle back out there. Here's strike one to Kaylee McGowan, the right fielder. Line up and the pitch. Up the third base side, foul. 0 oh 2. Uh, Hillers just went on an absolute tear in the bottom of the third. And it all started off with Alyssa McIntyre reaching on a catch's error after striking out. And Katie Holly walked, and that pitch down low. Emma Murphy then doubled to knock both McIntyre and Holly in. Then an RBI single from Jill Cedia knocked Murphy in. And a fly out from Bella Ansi as this is hit up the middle and bobbled by the shortstop. And safe at first is Kaylee McGowan on the rare error by Alyssa McIntyre. That'll bring up Kelly Morris in the second baseman. Then after the Odyssey flyout, you had Megan Sullivan with a single, Jordan Chevery with an RBI single, Krista McCluskey walked, and then Emily Whalen would walk. We'd have a pitching change after that as this is driven up the middle, picked up at short, and she steps on second for one. The throw to first is going to be not in time. They did get one. So Kelly Morrison reaches on the six unassisted fielder's choice as Kelly Corbett will step up. And after the pitching change, the rally continued on for the Hillers last inning. Alyssa McIntyre with an RBI single, fly out for Katie Holly, but then a two RBI single for Emma Murphy. Picked up a short, throw to second for one. Throw to first is actually gonna be held up by Emily Whalen, probably a smart move there. They did get the lead runner, however. So Kelly Corbett reaches on the six to four fielder's choice. Two away, and now Kaylee McGregor will come to the plate. Swinging strike, nice pitch from Holly.
The Hopkinton baseball team has tied things up with Bellingham. It's 1-1 up at the baseball field as this is hit in the air and caught for the third out of the inning by Alyssa McIntyre. And that will wrap up the top of the fourth to the bottom of the inning we go. It's 10-0 Hillers on H Camp. Bottom of the fourth inning, two up for the Hillers, six, seven, and eight. Bella Ansi, Megan Sullivan, Jordan Chevery. Pretty much the entire Hillers lineup just having a great day today. An eight run, bottom of the third, a 10 nothing lead for the Hillers. As we'll have a conference in the pitcher's circle. Alexis Rodriguez out there to work another inning for Bellingham. Continuing the duties in left field is the starting pitcher, Casey McGowan. Bella Ansi is the only one in the Hillers lineup without a hit today. Let's see if she can change that. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Gets a piece of this, foul, oh and two. Set to deliver, down low. The one and two, gets a piece of this and that'll drop in for a hit into center field. So now everyone in the Hillers starting lineup has a hit. And that'll bring up Megan Sullivan. Infielders playing in on the corners as this is hit high in the air over to left field and caught by McGowan, one away. Jordan Chevery, the right fielder, will step in. She is one for two today, had an RBI single as part of the eight run rally in the bottom of the third. Inside. Line up and the pitch. Swinging strike. One and one. There's another strike. One two pitch, fouled away. Good battle here between Jordan Chevery and Alexis Rodriguez. I don't believe there's any relation to Alex Rodriguez. Of course, both players did wear number three. Is that pitch up high? Two and two. Air strike three got her looking, two away. That'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, who's walked and grounded out. So actually she doesn't have a hit yet today either. She has reached, however. Everyone in the Hillers lineup has reached one way or the other. Bella Ansi over at first base, two outs. The 0 1. There's a strike. And that is foul. Now remains 0 and 2. Yeah. 
set to deliver. Upstairs. The one and two. Check swing, and she did not hold. That'll wrap up the bottom of the fourth. A 10-0 lead for the Hillers as we head to the top of the fifth on HCAN. Top of the fifth inning. Two up for Bellingham, 9-1 and 2. Alexis Rodriguez will step in. She grounded out in her only at-bat so far. Katie Hawley has pitched a very good game so far this afternoon. Strike there. Katie Holly, not a very big strikeout pitcher, but really knows how to get hitters to fly out and ground out pretty easily as that one's fouled away, 0-2. The junior has a 3.50 ERA on the season. Five wins, one loss, nine appearances coming into this game. 42 innings pitched. Pretty good numbers for Katie Holly. This is hit high in the air, foul up the left side. Cow remains 0 and 2. Ten nothing lead for the Hillers. That one upstairs, one and two. Holly deals down low. Of course, the big debate for the Hillers is who are they going to use in the pitcher circle more in the playoffs? Because they also have Emily Whalen, who has five wins, two losses, 3.73 ERA. Is that one's upstairs? She's had 11 appearances and worked 62 innings. So Emily Whalen has worked a little bit more in the pitcher circle than Katie Holly. But Holly has gotten the majority of the work as of late. So it'll be interesting to see who the Hillers go to in the postseason. Of course, still a couple of road games to close out the regular season as they wait for a new softball on the field. And we'll be following Hillers softball and baseball and as many of the other spring sports as we can all throughout the postseason. That one's fouled away. And we were able to cover a couple of lacrosse games this past week on HCAM. Very fun sport to broadcast. My first experience broadcasting lacrosse, and it was a good time as this is hit high in the air over to left field and caught one away. Good battle between Alexis Rodriguez and Katie Holly, but in the end, Katie Holly takes the W. And that'll bring up Maddie Bantagani. Maddie is 0 for 2. She reached on an error in the third. Gets a piece of this one, hit high in the air out of the reach of everybody, 0 and 1. Line up in the pitch. It's a piece of this. That's hit high in the air over to right field, battling the sun and making the catch. George Chevery, two away. Casey McGowan, the pitcher, will step in, or the starting pitcher, now left fielder. Holly deals, gets a piece of this up the left side and just out of the reach of Emma Murphy. 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. There's a strike, 0 and 2.
Gets a piece of this one, and that is going to get down for a hit. And be all kinds of trouble out there in the field. Over to second, the throw in was pretty close, but sliding safely into second base with a 2-0 double is KC McGowan. Little bobble out there in the field by Megan Sullivan. 2-0 double, and that'll bring up Katie Reed. Upstairs. Katie Holly has given up four hits today. Of course, no runs. Up the right side, Emily Whalen with a great dive to her left throw to first, no problem. Emily Whalen with a nice defensive play there to wrap up the top of the fifth to the bottom of the inning we go. The Hillers leading 10-0 on HCAM. Top of the order due up for the Hillers who have a 10-0 lead over the Bellingham Blackhawks. Emily Whalen set to step in. Face Alexis Rodriguez, who came in in relief during the bottom of the third rally by Hopkinton. The bunt up the third base side and bobbled by the third baseman, Emily Whalen will reach. A great bunt up the line. I'm giving her the hit on that one. That was just placed perfectly. Melissa McIntyre will step in. So the clinching run at the plate. Up the left side, and that is foul. Oh, and one. Upstairs, Emily Whalen threatening to take off to second. As Kaylee McGregor, the catcher, looks up the line. Fouled away. One and two. Set to deliver. Up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to second for one to throw to first, not in time. They get the force out. Oh no, they're gonna say the second baseman came off the bag, so everybody's safe. So she took her foot off the bag. Emily Whalen is going to get the advance to second. Melissa McIntyre with the single, and that'll bring up Katie Holly. Gets a piece of this foul. Oh, and one. That one outside, one and one. Runners on first and second for the Hillers, no outs. This is crushed over to left field, but playing deep and making the catch is Casey McGowan, one away. I'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman, who's having a great day. Three for three for the senior on senior day. Chance to close out the game if she can get a hit here. That is a rocket up the left side. Coach Soderberg had to get out of the way of that one. Oh, and one on Emma Murphy. Oh, and by the way, Emma Murphy has five RBIs today. Outside. Oh, and two. Two on, one out. Outside, one and two.
set to deliver down low. Two and two. And this is up the left side, foul. Emily Whalen was, for the most part, already at home plate as that ball was hit. Just so much speed from the junior second baseman for the Hillers. As this is hit into left field, that'll get down for a hit. Emily Whalen will be held up at third base. Why well, take the risk with one out? Bases loaded for the Hillers. A good piece of hitting there by the senior. And her perfect day at the plate continues. That'll bring up Jill Cedia. Cedia taking some time to tie up the cleats. A few former Hillers softball stars here taking in the game this afternoon, including Bree Marabli, who's a great pitcher for the Hillers for a couple seasons. That pitch inside. Pretty good crowd on hand here on this beautiful afternoon. Hit in the air over to the right side and it's dropped. Here comes Emily Whalen around to score. Everybody's gonna be safe. It's an 11-0 game. It looks like the sun might have affected McGowan there trying to make the catch. And that will bring up Bella Ansi, the first baseman. Oh, the sun's shining directly in that right field area. Does not make things easy. And this is up the first base side. That's a fair ball picked up to throw home, and they will get the force out, two away. That was a three to two. So Bella Ansi reaches on the three to two four or the one to two force out, and that'll bring up. Megan Sullivan. Inside. This base is loaded now for the Hillers with two outs. Swinging strike. Gets a piece of this up the middle, and the throw to first is going to be dropped. Everybody's safe. And that is going to make it a 12-0 lead for Hopkinton as Emma Murphy comes around, and the mercy rule will go into effect. The Hopkinton Hillers will pull off the win 12-0 over the Bellingham Blackhawks. We'll take a quick timeout, come back, wrap things up. You're tuning in to Hillers Softball on HCAM. The Hopkinton Hillers pull off the 12 to nothing lead over the Bellingham Blackhawks. It was a mercy ruled game, which ended in the bottom of the fifth with two outs as the winning run would score after an error. Allowed the inning to keep going and coming around to score was Emma Murphy to score the 12th run on the Megan Sullivan hit. The Hillers had 12 runs on 12 hits, committed two errors. Bellingham, no runs, four hits, and five errors. Rough day for the Blackhawks, but they are a great team with a whole lot of young talent, which will be heading to the playoffs. So certainly a lot to look forward to for Bellingham. As for Hopkinton, a great TVL win here today. The Hillers now 12 and six on the season. Bellingham falls to 11 and seven, a great pitching performance by Katie Holly, who went five very strong innings but your player of the game is the senior Emma Murphy who went four for four at the plate five RBIs and two runs scored 
For Alex Walton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. The final score for the final time, the Hillers defeat Bellingham 12 to nothing. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you soon. Tom Nappy here with today's star, Emma Murphy, and also the only senior for the Hopkinton Hillers this season. Emma, you went four for four here on Senior Day today. A terrific uh, 12 to nothing win against a good Bellingham team. Uh, can you talk about this game and the performance of your team out there today? Um, I think we just did a really good job defensively, and defense turned into offense, and we were able to kind of get the bats going later in the game. So I think it was a team win through and through. And you teed off on this Bellingham pitching today. Uh, what would you see out there uh, from the pitchers, and what do you think led uh, to so much success at the plate? Um, I just kind of took what my teammates gave me that had at-bats before me. Um, I looked for my pitch. I stayed patient, and I just sat back on the ball and tried to find something I could drive. And how's it playing with this group this season? It's been awesome. Being the only senior, the underclassmen have been great, and I know the future is bright for this team. And did you enjoy the uh, poem they read you uh, prior to the game? Yes, I did. Uh, had some good laughs in there. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck this season. Of course, the postseason not too far away, and hopefully many more games to come. Yes, thank you very much. Tom Nappy here with head coach Scott Soderberg. Coach, a great performance by your team out there today. They beat a good Bellingham team in dominant fashion. 12 to nothing, mercy ruled game. Uh, can you talk about your team's performance out there today? I heard, I heard uh, Miss Murphy say it's senior day, uh, and we led with our defense. We played really, really good defense. Because we don't get a lot of strikeouts as far as on the mound, I think our girls on the mound are doing a really good job. We don't get a lot of strikeouts. We got to make a lot of plays. And as the years gone on, we get more balls hit at us. And you know, we just—I think we've done—we did a really good job of. We, I like to call it protecting the softball. And as far as I, I don't know, but I think almost everybody in the lineup had a hit. Uh, and it's up and down the lineup. We've really hit the ball well this year. The girls have really responded and uh, done a great job. And a, uh, a good pitching performance today by uh, Katie Holly. And of course. Um, uh, Emily Whalen has pitched well uh, this season also, but I think the key for the Hillers this year uh, has has been the hitting, so it seems like whenever the pitching's down, the offense just picks it right back up. Right, and again, those girls have done a great job on the mound. Um, you know, Miss Whalen hasn't pitched in a few years. It's come back, and, and Katie's not ha hasn't really pitched that much, and they, when we lost both our pitchers, um, they knew they somebody had to step up, and they're they're going to be call it, they're college athletes. They're going to be college athletes. They've done a great job on, on the mound, kept us in games. And you know, some days we got to outslug people. We didn't today. Bellingham, um, very, very good team. Um, I, I was worried about them with their offense because they've had a potent offense this year. Coach Baker, who I've known for, gosh, I've known him for 30 years. He's a great baseball coach, great softball coach. You, you knew they'd be up for us, and uh, we came ready which is great. I mean, this is a big win. I mean, we only returned four girls from last year, but the girls have gotten a lot better defensively. Um, our outfielders, uh, Jordan and Kristen, did a great job also. Megan uh, and, you know, those that's three sophomores, so that's, that's fantastic. And, of course, today you're celebrating Senior Day. One senior on the team, yeah, Emma senior. Murphy, <laughs> and she was also today's MVP going uh, four for four. Can you talk about her performance in this game? Just all season long, she's been terrific. Emma, Emma's emma been swinging a, a great, great stick since, like, the f fourth or fifth game. Plays a great third base. Uh, I'm guessing she's got 25, 27 ribbies. She's hitting the, hitting the ball in the head all over the place. And, and just great kid, great captain. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny just to have one senior, but she had a, she had a great day today. And by the way, that ball was fair down the line, in my opinion. But that's okay. She had a great day. She continues to to really pick her team up. You know, at the beginning of the year, we didn't really know who was going to bat fourth, and I thought she would drive runs in. But I, I'm guessing she's hitting about close to 500 now, 470, something like that. She uh, in the last three or four games raised her average at least 100 points. Just done a great job for us. Super, super kid. Might even be over uh, 500 now, and yeah, she also had five RBIs today alone. Oh, wow. Qu quite impressive numbers. Uh, well, Coach, uh, it's a young group out there this year, but they seem to have great chemistry. What's it like to coach this group this season? The thing I love most is this, is no matter what the score is, we don't give up. I think if you look down, you never know if we're up or down because the girls play the same way, and that's one of the things as a coach you always want to see. And we play, everybody gets a shot. I'd say most girls have you know, started three or four times or try to get as many girls in. Today I didn't do as much of that, but I will on Thursday. Uh, I just feel like the girls fill the spots, and, and we, we've taken a lot of reps in practice, uh, hitting and, and fielding, and I'm very impressed and pleased. You don't know at the beginning, especially when you don't have one of your pitchers coming back, and, 
the girls have responded. I mean, we uh, played Central Catholic the other day, down six nothing. We come back and tie, although we lost an extra innings. We've had it. We played Medfield. I don't know if you, you did the Medfield game where we were down five to one. We tied in the sixth. They went out in the seventh. And then we we just feel like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna compete. We always compete. That's what you want. You want to compete. And they're a fun group to be around. They're you know a lot of smiles and giggles and stuff like that. It's just it's just a nice group of kids that uh, they. I heard one of the girls say about a week ago. They said Katie Holly said they have really really good, good chemistry with each other all the way up and down the lineup. Well, coach. Uh... It's certainly been fun to cover this team this season, and we're looking forward uh, to hopefully uh, many more games uh, for the rest of the season and into the playoffs. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it.